Alien is what happens when you mix sci-fi and horror. It's a simple premise that would go on to spawn a franchise. A small crew of peep workers on a ship are getting killed one by one by a xenomorph. What is a xenomorph? Well, it's an alien. Well, duh, the movie's called Alien. But it's a special kind of alien. It's one of the scariest aliens ever put to film. Unlike the 50s B-movies, which had really cheesy aliens, this alien is one that scared the shit out of people in 1979. Like, the mouth inside a mouse is one of the most creative things I've seen in a horror movie villain. And that's what makes Alien so unique. It's essentially a slasher movie, but with a lot of sci-fi elements, which makes it very unique. And watching it, you can definitely see how this spawned a franchise and why it's considered to be one of the best by many people. Though I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of this film, I basically more respect it than I do like it. There are a lot of great shots and elements of the film, however, it's a little slower paced than other movies I've seen so far. It takes a little while to get going, there's a lot of slow pace scenes, which is fine, it builds up atmosphere, but I feel like it builds up a little bit too much with very little payoff at all. There's a lot of interesting concepts that I wish they did do more on, like the company trying to use the alien as a weapon, which I know they do in future sequels, but talking about the first movie, there's not a whole lot of it. And especially the beginning, there's a lot of slow-paced scenes that don't feel like it's going anywhere, and there's not even really anything to build up at this point, since we haven't even seen the alien, let alone the uh, face hugger, whatever it's called. Though once it does get started and the alien's on the loose of the ship, it definitely gets a lot better, at least in my opinion. Not that it was ever bad, I just feel like it's a little too slow for my liking. And despite how iconic the Xenomorph is, we actually rarely see it throughout the entire film, which I know why they did that. It was a build-up tension, however, one of the longest shots of the Xenomorph in the movie is actually one of the more goofy shots. Like, it ragdolls near the end and it looks really funny, which is not what it's supposed to be, but I don't know why this one scene at the end where it dies is hilarious. But other than that, talking about the film is kind of redundant, because I feel like everyone's seen it, and if you haven't seen it, I recommend watching it for yourself. This is definitely a f film that is definitely better at a first time viewing rather than someone telling you about it. It's basically a classic horror sci-fi film that will go on to have many sequels, spin-offs, and prequels. I will be covering three of the sequels of this film, not all of them, for the next couple days, in case you're wondering. So it's not my favorite personal horror movie, but it's one I definitely recommend everyone watching for how unique it is. So if you haven't seen Alien, go ahead and watch it. Until then, I'll see you next time for Aliens. Okay, while well, I actually recommend this film, I gotta mention one tip point. Near the end of the film, when the ship's about to self-destruct, there's a lot of flashing lights, so I went epilepsy, I recommend to keep that in mind. I don't usually talk about that, but it was very glaring how much there's flashing lights there's one scene for a very like long period of time. So keep that in mind. Any people with epilepsy, I recommend being cautious about this film. But other than that, go watch it. Yeah!